Hi friends, uh, today I wanted to discuss about the PU exam, board examination biology question paper of March 2018. It is a scheme of evaluation is also discussed along with that. Uh, the part A consists of 10 questions of one mark. The first part is what is implantation? First question is the process of attachment of blastocyst to the uterine endometrium is termed as implantation. Write the uh, restriction site of echo R1 that is E. coli R1 uh, that is the restriction uh, endonuclease enzyme. So 3 prime it is GAA TTC to 5 prime and 5 prime it is CTTAAG to 3 prime. So you have a palindromic sequence and at GAA there is a marker zone and uh, CTT there is a marker zone which has been not indicated in this part of it but that you have to write in uh, examination. Then define protic potency. It is the ability of any cell or X plant to generate a complete plant or whole plant in lab conditions or in vitro conditions. So that is termed as protic potency. What is fetal rejection? Ejection reflex. Uh, the signal of mild uterine contractions which are generated due to fully developed fetus and placenta is termed as fetal ejection reflex. Mention the role of methanogens in the rumen of cattle. So methanogens they digest the cellulose in the rumen uh, and it provides nutrition for them. So that is the role of methanogens uh, organisms. Define saltation. Saltation is a single step large mutation that results in speciation is termed as saltation. Name the type of antibodies produced during allergy. IgE antibodies are produced during allergy. What are urethermal organisms? The organisms that can tolerate wide range of temperature are called as urethermal organisms. Define biomagnification. It is the increase in the concentration of toxic and in the organisms at successive trophic level. Example is DDT accumulation uh, in different trophic levels. At the highest trophic level that is the uh, tertiary consumer, uh, it would be having the maximum accumulation of DDT. That is an example for biomagnification. The definition is it is the increase in the concentration of toxic and in the organisms at successive trophic level. Write the name of the toxic substance responsible for the fever and chill in malaria. The name of the toxic substance which causes fever and chill in malaria is hemozoin. The name is hemozoin. The part B, we have two mark questions. So the first question that we have asked, that is 11th question is, what are homogametes and heterogametes? The gametes that cannot be distinguished into male and female based on their morphology or appearance are termed as homogametes. That is, they are similar gametes where you cannot differentiate between male and female. So we call them as homogametes. The gametes that can be distinguished into male and female based on their morphology or appearances are heterogametes. So you can distinguish between male gamete and female gamete based on their morphology. So that type of gametes are termed as heterogametes. Mention any two examples of evolution by anthropogenic action. Herbicide and pesticide resistant varieties of organisms is one example for uh, evolution by anthropogenic action. Then antibiotic resistant microbes, especially the superbug, what we call is also another example of evolution due to human interference, which we call it as anthropogenic action. Distinguish, uh, distinguish between homozygous and heterozygous plants. The plants that contain similar allelic pair of genes or uh, factors or breed and it breeds for true trait for a trait are called homozygous. Example capital T capital T uh, is a homozygous uh, uh, character or small t small t that is dwarfness here is a pure or homozygous dwarfness in case of pea plant. The plants that contain dissimilar allelic pair of genes or do not breed true for a trait are called heterozygous. It is also called as hybrid. Example is capital T small t. So they are hybrids and uh, hybrid tall it is also called as or heterozygous tall.
because their genetic makeup varies. What is innate humanity? Mention the two types of barriers. Uh, the non-specific time of defense that is present at the time of birth uh, is termed as innate immunity, inborn immunity you can call it as. Uh, the two types of barriers, there are uh, four examples for it of which any two you can write. They are physical barriers, physiological barriers, cellular barriers and cytokine barriers. Which are the two important components of poultry farm ma management? The selection of disease free and suitable breeds, proper and safe farm conditions, proper fit, feed and water, maintenance of good hygiene and health care are the important components of poultry farm management. Write the methods to introduce alien DNA into host cells. Micro injection is a process of direct transfer transformation of our DNA into the nucleus of animal cell by micro syringes. Biolistic or gene kind method is used in plants where the plant cells are bombarded with high velocity micro particles of gold or tungsten coated with DNA. So uh, one mark each, any two you can write. We have given other examples also. Plasmid vectors and disarmed pathogenic vectors that is PI plasmid and retroviruses when allowed to infect the cells transfer the recombinant DNA into the host. So these are the various method of introduction of a foreign uh, DNA or recombinant DNA into host cells. Uh, one is the micro method, another is biolistic or gene gun, uh, gene gun method, the biological method by plasmid vectors and disarmed pathogenic vectors is another method. So any one of this, uh, two of these methods if you write, you score two marks. Define endemism. Name any two regions of accelerated habitat loss in India. The phenomenon of distribution of organisms to a confined area and are not found anywhere else is known as endemism. Uh, the two regions of accelerated habitat loss in India are Western Ghats, uh, Himalayan region, Indo-Burma region, Western Ghats and Sri Lanka you can also write it as. Invasion of alien species eliminates the native animal species. Give two examples. So they have just asked for two examples where an alien species is removing the uh, endemic or native animal species. The Nile perch, which was introduced in Lake Victoria in East Africa, it led to the extinction of ecologically unique assemblage of more than 200 species of chiclet fish in the lake. Uh, the recent illegal introduction of the African catfish Clarius garipinus for aquaculture purposes is posing a threat to the indigenous or exotic catfishes in our rivers. So these are two examples of an alien species which has eliminated the native animal species. Uh, mention the vegetative part C is for three mark questions. So you have to answer five questions of three marks each out of say, eight options that you have. You have to write any five. So they mention the vegetative propagules of the following plants. Water hyacinth, the vegetative propagule is offset. Again, the vegetative propagule is bulbil and banana, the vegetative propagule is rhizome or sucker. Draw a neat label diagram of transverse section of young anther. So the butterfly diagram, what we call it as, you can draw that. So you have to draw the ground plan where you are going to label the connective tissue, epidermis, endothesium, sporogenous tissue, tepetum and middle layers. So then the enlarged cellular part of it also you have to draw the diagram. So you have to draw the diagram of epidermis, endothesium, two middle layers, microspore, mother cell, tepetum. Since it is a, a young anther, so you can um, name the microspore mother cells. If it is an old anther, instead of microspore mother cells, you have to draw pollen grains with x sign and in time. So this uh, fetches you, you have to label six labelings. So you half mark for each labeling. So you can score three out of three. Describe the haplodiploid sex determination in honeybees. In honeybees, uh, you notice that the male is haploid and it has 16 chromosomes, whereas the female is diploid having 32 chromosomes. Males are going to produce sperms by mitosis. Uh, since they are already haploid, they cannot undergo meiosis. Whereas females produce XL or OVA by meiosis since they are diploid. 
the female offspring are formed by the union of uh, haploid sperm and an haploid egg. The male offspring the drones are formed from an unfertilized egg by means of parthenogenesis. So these you have to write one mark for each point that you have to uh, describe about. Then the next uh, frequently asked question is state Hardy-Weinberg principle of genetic equilibrium. It would be for one mark and write mention any four factors affecting the equilibrium that is for two marks half mark each uh, hardy weinberg principle it states that the allele frequencies in a population are stable and it is constant from generation to generation the uh, four factors uh, any four factors you can write gene migration or gene flow genetic drift mutation genetic recombination and natural selection so the 23rd question is write a short note on ecosystem services so ecosystem services they purify air and water they are going to uh, remove the droughts and floods they are uh, ecosystem services are also involved in cycling of nutrients they are also the services provided in the ecosystem uh, they generate fertile soils they provide habitats, ecosystem provides habitats to the wildlife and maintain biodiversity. Ecosystem provides storage site for carbon. Ecosystem is also a source of aesthetic, cultural and spiritual values. So these are all the ecosystem services. So out of this, uh, you have to write any three of the points. Three to four points you can write. Next, this is rarely asked, but anyway, in this question paper, they have asked this diagram. Sketch the diagram representing the replication of retrovirus in animal cell so uh, the retrovirus is having a, a protein viral protein coat and a viral rna coat the genetic uh, material in retrovirus is rna the virus infects the normal animal cell so once they infect they attach to the wall of the uh, animal cell and it uh, uh, viral dna rna is introduced uh, viral rna is introduced into the cell and this viral RNA undergoes reverse transcription in presence of reverse transcriptase and they form viral DNA. The viral DNA is then it enters into the host uh, genome and they get incorporated. Now new viral RNA is produced by the infected cells. So the viral DNA has got incorporated into the host genome. Now they start producing by transcription they are producing new viral RNA. Uh, the new viruses are produced by the organization of the uh, viruses that is the protein coat is going to enclose the uh, viral RNA so new viruses can infect other cells and also you should observe one thing infected cell can survive while virus, uh, viruses are being replicated and released so that is what is the diagram that you are expected to draw for the retrovirus in animal replication of retrovirus in animal cell what is ecological succession one mark for the definition how hydrat succession is different from xerat succession that fetches two marks the gradual and fairly predictable change in the species composition of a given area is termed as ecological succession it can be on a bare a barren rock or a bare rock which you call it as xerat succession and on aquatic body or water body we call it as hydrat succession Hydrax succession takes place in wetter areas, whereas Xerax succession takes place in dry areas. So you can write uh, more about those uh, data of it. The pioneering species is uh, phytoplankton in Hydrax succession, whereas in case of Xerax uh, succession, the pioneer species is going to be the lichens or lichens. So uh, these differences we can go on listing it out. So two marks worth of differences you have to write. Then the next one is drawn neat label diagram of plasmid PBR322. So it's a very simple diagram where you have to write the circle part of it. And uh, it consists of two genes that is amphicillin resistant uh, gene and antibiotic that is tetracycline resistant gene. At two regions you have to mark. Then you also have to mark the ORI site, ORI site, ROP and uh, various restriction enzymes binding site that is you have pvu2 pht1 pvu1 echo r1 cla1 hin3 bam h1 and sal1 these are all the various uh, sites that the uh, 
restriction endonucleases, specific restriction endonucleases can bind. So half mark is for each labeling, so totally six labelings you should have and you get three marks for it. The next diagram uh, part is part D. Part D has two sections, section 1 and section 2, where you have to answer for uh, five mark questions. So in the section 1, first question that we have, that is 27th question is, draw and describe the structure of mature embryo sac of angiosperms. The mature embryo sac is having eight nucleus and seven cells at maturity. So there are three cells which are grouped together and they are present at the micropylar end and they are called as the egg cell. So egg apparatus which has two synergics and a centrally located egg cell. So two nuclei called polar nuclei are situated below the egg apparatus uh, is the large central cell within the large central cell and three cells are present at the chalazal lens and they are called as antipodals. So with diagram two marks is for the diagrams and uh, half mark is for the uh, four correct labeling and three marks is for the explanation. The next one is a simple diagram draw neat day labeled diagram of sectional view of female reproductive system. So the female reproductive system consists of uh, the vagina which leads into the cervical canal and the cervix is there, the end of the uterus layer you can see the inner endometrium, middle myometrium and the outer part of it that is the perimetrium and there is ovary and uh, there are uh, so the uterine fundus and uterine cavity you have to label them apart from that the isthmus, ampulla and infundibulum together they are called as fallopian tube so the finger like structures you notice is nothing but the fimbriae so half mark each for the labeling so you have to label 10 correct labeling there are no marks for diagrams so the next question that we have 29th is explain inheritance of one gene with reference to height of p plant that is monohybrid cross uh, with reference to uh, tall plant when a homozygous dominant tall p plant with a genotype that is homozygous uh, genotype or pure genotype capital T capital T is crossed with homozygous recessive dwarf p plant with a genotype small t small t it produces an all heterozygous dominant tall p plants that is uh, capital T small t uh, in the f1 generation and the f1 plants are self they produce three tall plants and one dwarf plant in the f2 generation among the three tall plants one is homozygous dominant and two are uh, hybrid dominant tall that is our heterozygous dominant and the phenotypic ratio of monohybrid cross is 3 is to 1 whereas the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 so you can write with the checkerboard the monohybrid cross so uh, label it properly that is the parents phenotype pure tall pure dwarf genotype is capital T capital T small t small t and the gametes are capital T small t the F1 generation is going to be capital T, small t. All plants are heterozygous tall because tall is dominant over dwarf. F1 is self-pollinator. Uh, that is F2 generation is F1 into F1. The parent phenotype is capital T, uh, small t into capital T, small t. That is hybrid tall. So the gametes that we are going to get is uh, four gametes and the possibilities are four possibilities. That is uh, homozygous tall, heterozygous tall and homozygous dwarf. So the phenotypic ratio is three of them are tall plants and one is dwarf plant. Genotypic ratio based on their uh, uh, genetic makeup is one homozygous tall or pure tall, two hybrid tall or heterozygous tall and one homozygous dwarf or pure dwarf. So next question 30th, what are the features of an ideal contraceptive? So uh, mention the natural methods of contraception. So uh, the half mark each is there, so you have to write for two marks, four points. The uh, features of an ideal contraceptives are as follows. It should be user friendly, it should be easily available and the uh, ideal contraceptive should not have any side effects and it should be reversible on uh, stoppage of usage. It should not interfere with the sexual act or drive or desire of the user. So these are the ideal features of contraceptives. Uh, the natural method of contraceptives include natural method uh, they are by the periodic abstinence or rhythm method. 
the coitus interruptus or withdrawal method and the lactational amenorrhea next question 31st question is explain the following terms a inbreeding depression b interspecific hybridization biofortification myopropagation and soma clones inbreeding depression is a phenomenon in which there is reduction in fertility and productivity due to continuous inbreeding interspecies hybridization is a method where and uh, male and female animals of two different related species are mated example is horse and donkey we are going to get mule lion and tiger we are going to get the uh, <coughs> liger biofortification is breeding the crops with higher nutrient contents that is especially proteins healthier fats higher levels of vitamins and minerals to improve the public health example golden yellow rice is also bio fortified rice uh, micro propagation is a method of producing thousands of uh, similar plants through tissue culture soma clones are the tissue cultured plants which are genetically identical to the uh, parental plants or original plants from which they are produced that is almost they are clones of their original plants from which they are produced the uh, 32nd question is the regulation of lac operon in the absence and presence of lactose as an inducer so you have to draw the diagram as well as give the expired example switching on and switching off mechanism switching on app happens in presence of lactose switching off is in absence of lactose in the absence of lactose the genes lac operon is switched off so you have to draw the diagram of this Uh, in the absence of inducer they are having genes like t gene hi gene t and o gene structural genes like z y and e uh, so in the absence of lactose the free repressor protein produced from lac i gene they are going to bind uh, to the operator region and they prevent the rna polymerase enzyme to bind to the promoter region and thus it is switching off this transcription of the three structural genes lac z lac y and lac a uh, which are going to say uh, which would have probably if it was not switched off it would have synthesized beta galactosidase beta galactoside trans acetylase beta galactoside aminase uh, in the presence of lactose that is switching on mechanism the repressor protein produced from lac i gene binds to the uh, lactose forming a repressor induced complex which cannot bind to the operator ring region the promoter region is free rna polymerase enzyme binds to it and transcribes the three structural genes lac z lac y and lac a which encodes for the respective enzymes so you can see in the diagram in presence of inducer lac i gene produces the repressor mrna they are going to produce the repressor protein which gets binded to the lactose and uh, the operon gene since they are not inactivated they are going to activate the structural genes lac z lac y and lac a so they are producing the lac mrna by transcription and they produce three enzymes that is beta galactosidase permease and trans acetylase by their biosynthesis of protein or it is also called as translation process so this is the lac uh, the switching on mechanism of lac operon or in presence of inducer So now we'll go to the part D, section two. Uh, the first question that we have here is: Oswald Avery and others have continued Griffith's transforming uh, principle to prove that DNA is a genetic material. Substantiate. They wanted to explain all this. Avery, MacLeod, and McCarthy they purified biochemical proteins, RNA and DNA from the heat killed air strain, uh, <coughs> Diplococcus pneumoniae, to which one should transform. live r cells into s cells so heat killed s strain is uh, a viral link whereas r cells are also a viral link so they discovered but uh, s cells generally which are not heat killed they are viral link so they discovered that dna alone from s strain it caused r bacterial strain to become transformed into s strain they also discovered that protein digesting enzymes proteases and rna digesting enzymes rnases they did not affect transformation so the transforming substance was not a protein or rna digestion with dna is 
uh, inhibited transformation which suggested that uh, since DNA is digested so the possible reason for transformation would be DNA. Thus they concluded that DNA is the hereditary material. So you have one point for each so you get five marks for it. Describe the roles of uh, microbes in sewage treatment plants, the flocks which are nothing but bacteria associated with fungal filaments to form mesh like structure. So these flocks are formed in the aeration tanks and they consume major part of the organic matter in the primary effluents that are found in the water, in the sewage. The significantly, flocks significantly reduce the BOD of the effluent, that is biological oxygen demand of the effluent. The sewage water is treated till the BOD is reduced. Once the BOD of sewage is reduced significantly, the effluent is then passed into a settling tank where the bacterial flocks are allowed to sediment. This sediment is called as activated sludge. A small part of the activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank to serve as inoculum for further treatment of effluents. The remaining major part of the sludge it is pumped into large tanks called anaerobic sludge digesters. Here the anaerobic bacteria, they digest the bacteria and fungi in the sludge. During this digestion, bacteria produces a mixture of gases such as methane, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. These gases form biogas and they can be used as a source of energy as these gases are highly inflammable. 35th question, one of the applications of biotechnology is to get pest resistant plants. Justify the statement with reference to Bt cotton. So Bt cotton is nothing but Bacillus thuringiensis cotton which is a transgenic or genetically modified cotton plant. They are resistant to lepidotermin insects like ballworm, budworm etc. Bt cotton plant contains cry gene of Bacillus thuringiensis. This cry gene produces protein crystals during particular phase of their growth and these crystals contain toxic insecticidal proteins which are produced in inactive forms known as protoxins. Once an insect ingests this inactive toxin, it is converted into an active form of toxin due to the alkaline pH of the gut which solubilizes the crystals. The activated toxins bind to the surface of the mid-gut epithelial cells and they create pores that cause cell swelling and lysis and eventually it causes the death of the insect. What are ectoparasites and endoparasites? List any three parasitic adaptations in animals. Ectoparasites are the parasites that live outside the body of the host. Endoparasites are the parasites that live inside the body of the host. Parasitic adaptations are the loss of unnecessary sense organs. They have adhesive organs or suckers to hold on or cling to the host. They do not have any digestive system. High reproductive capacity they have and the life cycle of the parasites are complex involving one or two intermediate hosts and vectors which facilitate the parasitization of its primary host. So the uh, ectoparasites and endoparasites that are definitions are two marks parasitic adaptations you have to write any three of them so you get three marks for it write a note 37th question write a note on the following radioactive waste joint forest management uh, so radioactive waste the hazardous waste that are formed due to the activity of the radioactive elements they, they are termed as radioactive waste the serious problems of radioactive waste are uh, Accidental leakage and uh, safe disposal is a serious issue. Radiation given off by the nuclear waste is extremely uh, damaging uh, to the organisms because it causes mutations to occur at a very high rate. At high doses, nuclear radiation is lethal, but at lower doses, it creates various disorders, and especially cancer. It has been recommended that storage of nuclear waste after sufficient tree treatment should be done in a shielded container buried within the rocks about 500 meter deep below the earth surface. However, this disposal method of disposal is also meeting opposition from the public. The joint forest management, uh, realizing the significance of involvement of local communities, the government of India 
1980 introduced the concept of joint forest management with the uh, local communities. Uh, so they started working with the local communities for protecting and managing forests. Uh, the local communities in return for their services to the forest, they were paying uh, various benefits of forest products like fruit, gum, rubber, medicine and thus the forest can be conserved in a sustainable manner for a long duration of time. So that completes our uh, March 2018 question paper. Best wishes for your uh, upcoming examination. Thank you.